Thanks for watching iWeek. Click the subscribe button and then enable notifications with bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Welcome guys. The Ayurveda medicine system is practiced for years. Time has changed tremendously ever since. But the olden yet golden principles of Ayurveda therapy has not changed at all. It is so because they possess a unique promise of goodness. This goodness of well-being is bestowed upon the people by some of the extraordinary practitioners in Ayurveda medicine system. These physicians are striving relentlessly to make people's life happy with help of Ayurveda. We are starting a new series with Randhivi with some of the eminent physicians from Ayurveda therapy. And this video is the first installment of this series. Hello friends and welcome to my channel Ayurveda. Here I will explore the realms of Ayurveda just for you. Welcome guys. I am very happy to introduce you all to Dr. Ajay Jatta Pest. Dr. Ajay is an experienced doctor and he is practicing in Ayurveda since last 12 years. He has been proficient in his work and has treated many patients. Today he is going to share with us his uh, views and opinions about Ayurveda and Ayurvedic practice in general. And uh, we also are going to ask him certain questions and uh, know what he thinks about Ayurveda in general. So let's start. Uh, my first question is, uh, what inspired you to come in this field as an Ayurvedic practitioner? Okay, see, like by the time I had to decide my career, uh, I had developed immense interest in religion, philosophy, spirituality. Mm -hmm. That was the one thing. The other okay. was like a sense of service to mankind. So because okay. of those two, uh, two things, like I uh, decided like, the Ayurveda is the best field for me. Mm -hmm. And I came into this. Okay. And uh, what difficulties you faced in the initial phase of your uh, profession? As a doctor, yeah, difficulties are such like getting a good place to mm -hmm. start up your venture. Yes, that was yes. only hurdle. You oh, say yes, yes. Otherwise, uh, and uh, you said that you have been practicing for twelve years. So, how did your practice mature from the day one till now? How did it evolve? Evolve as a doctor, the evolution takes place only by you know uh, seeing more and more, more patients uh, throughout your career. That is the uh, main. Uh, point which uh, makes your yeah, maturity, yeah, yeah, which yeah. brings maturity into your practice. And the uh, part is about experience also, as you get yeah, experience. Yeah, and the whole variety of your patients, patients you see, yeah. you develop that maturity. Now that uh, is the patient uh, relation, context of patients here, what kind of portfolio your patients have while, when they come here, or what kind of portfolio of patients you have? Yeah, uh, the, the variety of my patients I have been seeing that's uh, immense of uh, various kinds like right from simple hair for hair grain, say arthritis, arthritis, uh, like neuromuscular diseases or very chronic things like uh, renal failure, so yes, it's okay. so all kind of, uh, everything beneath the sun as well as, yes. as, well as far as medicine is concerned. Uh, but, but is it mostly that uh, when a patient is in acute condition, mm -hmm. uh, he, he or she, the patient actually seeks the modern treatment and after that if he or she does not get relief, then only they come, is it so or is it that he, any other, any new patients mm -hmm. come here as a fresh patient of any service model? Both kinds of patients uh, like uh, I have been seeing uh, either like uh, from other practice they are turning into Ayurveda or as fresh starters like okay. those who already have idea about Ayurveda and have faith in uh, the science yes. they directly come to us. Very good, very good. So what will be the integral parts of your consultation? Means what are the integral parts that you definitely include when a patient comes to you? So there are many factors involved as far as Ayurvedic uh, consultation or you know, case taking consultation, but history taking or uh, like uh, uh, getting to know his past history about his illness, that is one factor. Nadi Pariksha yes. is a key role in this uh, diagnosis. And another like all the parameters which are mentioned in the Ayurvedic text, that yes. also uh, plays key role okay, okay. in deciding diagnosis. Now, uh, you have seen many patients in these uh, practicing years. Do you remember Do you remember certain cases which were so special or so uh, unique that you still remember treating them or uh, 
like that. There are many, but right now at this juncture, this moment, I am um, getting two, three cases uh, to my mind. One is of psoriasis, another is of renal failure, and another one like right now we are like the patient is undergoing treatment that is of multiple sclerosis. So this multiple sclerosis. Yeah, yeah. So like we are with the help of uh, you know Ayurveda, like we are able to provide them or like help them with uh, some remarkable results with the help of this Ayurvedic treatment. Okay. And uh, actually, uh, this question is directed towards the expectation that patients generally keep from their doctors. So, what kind of expectation you or more patients keep from you when they come to consult at yeah, As far as expectations are concerned, many a times there are unrealistic yes. expectations, but that is again a human nature. Yes. So, we can understand, we can understand that. Thing. But, like, you know, uh, Many times patient, people come with you know, like they want guarantee, but they should also understand like doctors are here to give them treatment and not guarantees. Life comes without guarantee. <laughs> and this is pretty tricky science as well as medicine is concerned. But yeah, but like after initial interaction, they also get to understand like in what scenario they are living. Like. Their concern is pretty much we can understand that thing also, but we need to counsel them, make them realize like what is possible, what is not. And to be keep realistic expectations from their doctor. Uh, my next question, Dr. Raja, is uh, Ayurveda is an age old science of me medicine that we have been practicing since ages. But the times have changed and they have changed tremendously. So, in today's time, what kind of perspective your patients keep about Ayurveda? Okay, like there's a conception regarding Ayurveda, you know, like. Uh, uh, a treatment modality which is like slow in action or slow in uh, working. So that is one thing they have in uh, their mind. The other is like uh, a treatment uh, or like a uh, science which has no side effects or such. So there are some such kind of uh, okay. views. Uh, like mixed. It's kind of mixed. mixed. Okay. Otherwise, in every other field, uh, the client is reserve oriented. So is the market. So in such kind of scenario, Result oriented scenario. How do patient how do you assure patients that yes your disease is going to be get well or you are going to get well or you are going to, not going to get well? How do you assure them? Or how do you assure them of their disease? Okay, see first of all like we need to you know uh, counsel them like what and to what extent I will can help them in that particular case. So without making any tall claims. I mean, like, just be practical. This is the possibility, this is not. And like, you have to have faith in the therapy, in the science. Okay. And like, you have to tend to give some time to, you know, to help uh, the treatment uh, from the malady or disease. Yes, like, yes, yes. Patients, is, patients have to have patience in this. That is good. That goes without saying, yes. Now, we just discussed about our uh, modern day scenario. Talking about that, in today's time, there are plethora of modern investigation techniques are available. So I would, I would like to ask you how much and to at what extent do you use such techniques? Yeah, first of all, you know, most of the patients come with already like uh, lots of investigation done to us. Okay. So that is the thing. Right? So, but of course it helps in our treatment because we come to know like uh, we can evaluate based on that investigation to how far like our treatment is helping. Okay. Them. So before the treatment or after the treatment? To, those two, like at this two uh, uh, junction, we happen to investigate and know like to where we are landing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's uh, means uh, we do we do take uh, uh, you know help of modern uh, modern investigation because uh, as per Ayurvedic principle, it is part of like what we call pratyeksha pramana, okay. like uh, the direct like evidence proof. Yes. Yes. Pratyeksha pramana. Now uh, I would like to under, uh, know about what is your take about Ayurvedic medicine. What do you think? What is your opinion about Ayurvedic medicine? Thanks, thanks for addressing this question because this has to be you know discussed and people also should get to like uh, there's a baseless allegations regarding uh, uh, Ayurvedic uh, medicines that they contain toxic heavy metals or something like that. But that is not actually that is not the truth. Uh, there's a, a specific protocol to be followed as far as Ayurvedic manufacturing uh, medicine manufacturing concerned. And when we go through this. Uh, like when the medic is, uh, medical formulations are uh, manufactured according to this textual uh, uh, recipes uh, what we have 
they are as safe as food what we can see try and test it try and test it this has been going for years so yes. there is nothing uh, so called to worry about the efficacy or safety of the medicine okay okay now that we discussed about ayurvedic medicine and to promote them in the sense that what being a part of ayurvedic cutting ayurvedic practitioner fraternity what attempts are being made to promote ayurveda yeah promotions of of course it's needed is a time uh, need of the time you can see uh, now promotions can be like you can uh, view it as a at uh, professional level as well as for the masses yes. for the professions there are various national and international conferences going on seminars and i mean there are various clinical meetings and uh, like upgrading your knowledge as well as uh, professional culture for the masses there are various articles written by doctors by like just in newspaper magazines blogs Uh, various website dedicated to Ayurveda, and again vlogs. Uh, I would like to mention your very own Ayurveda. Yes, Ayurveda. So this is a kind of promotion and awareness, like creating awareness for Ayurveda. Great, okay, that we do. And uh, speaking of promotion of Ayurveda, now modernization. There is uh, modernization is everywhere. So what do you think that uh, does Ayurveda need modernization right now, or is it good at its own place? See, moderation will, but obviously, be uh, happening as far as Ayurveda or anything else, because we cannot turn the wheel of time backwards. So we have to move along with whatever current scenario is seen. And moderation is okay as far as we don't hamper or manipulate the principles of Ayurveda. So that's fine. So, uh, now, what is your message to the future aspirants in Ayurveda practice? Yeah, message would be a big thing from. Uh, Young doctor like me, but I would like uh, say like the qualities what they have to maintain while pursuing this profession like uh, dedication, perseverance, and patience. Patience mm-hmm. that has to be there uh, for. So that's all, Doctor uh, Jai. Uh, uh, it was a pleasure to talk to you and to know about the thoughts that you hold about Ayurveda. Yeah, thanks for inviting me on uh, your Ayurveda channel. And I would be glad if you need any help or any support for your uh, channel, uh, as far as I have creating awareness of Ayurveda is concerned. I would be any time available for such. It would be our pleasure. Doctor. Thank you. Thank you. It was lovely talking to Dr. Ajay here. I am really glad to know how nicely he is doing his work of benevolence through Ayurvedic practice. I am thankful to him for offering us his precious time and share his valuable thought with us. I will be really happy if he continues his cordial relationship with Ayurved. With that said, I hope you like this video. I will upload a new video every week. That's it for this video, guys. Like it if you like it, dislike if you don't. Share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, stay healthy, stay fit, and take care.